Okay, so in front of me, I have the new Soul Sync ANC earbuds. Now, a lot of earbuds come through this studio claiming to have active noise cancellation and transparency mode available at a price point at $100 or less. But as I think back, none of those earbuds actually stood up to the hype. They were either lacking in the ANC mode or lacking in the transparency mode. They might have one or the other, but never had both of them. But So has finally claimed to achieve that elusive feat of having active ANC and transparency mode in a set of truly wireless earbuds under a hundred dollars. Let's see some love, it's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. But before I get into this review, I just wanna let you know that Soul did send these to me to review, but as always, I'm going to keep my review 100% unbiased and give you my honest opinion on how these actually perform. So you can find these on the Soul website or Amazon for around $100. As always, I'll put the links in the description down below. These come in three different colors. You got a black, you got a blue. It listed as a blue, but it's a navy blue, as you can see from the image right here. And then also a frost color, which I do have the frost color in front of me. And the frost color is just like a very light green color. Now the battery life for these earbuds with ANC off is around five and a half hours on a single charge and then a total battery life of around 25 hours now with ANC on the battery life doesn't vary that much it's five hours on a single charge and around 22 hours of total battery life so quickly going around this box on the front side as you can see it gives you the image of the actual earbuds themselves it says active noise cancellation up here sync ANC and then you also get the Bluetooth 5 point active noise cancellation again up to 25 hours and transparency mode and with bluetooth 5.0 here these earbuds are running the aac codec on the back side it shows you the contents that are in the box you get three additional ear tips you have a usb type c charging cable and you also get a carabiner now as you open this box up on the inside you will see that you have your earbuds that come on top you have your charging case right here and you have your accessory box underneath Okay, so before I jump into the earbuds and the charging case, inside this accessory box, which you will get, you get a sole sticker, you get your user manual, your safety manual, you have your USB type C charging cable. Here are the additional ear tips. I don't know if I said you had four early in this video, but you actually only get three. You have the two additional ones in this bag and the ones already pre-installed on the earbuds. And then you also have your carabiner right here if you wanna hook it to the case. Now for the charging case right here, the only thing that I don't like about this charging case is that it is not a wireless charging case. Other than that, I do like how slim it is. And in quick comparison to the AirPods Pro case, as you can see, it is a little bit bigger. But overall, the case is very slim. On the back side, as you see right here, you do have your USB Type-C charging port, and then you also have your indicator light. And one thing that I don't agree with is that it flashes to give you the charge level of the charging case. So four flashes means that it's 100%, three flashes, 75%, and then on down to two and then to one. I do think that they should have put maybe four LED lights on the back side here so you don't have to sit there and wait to count how many flashes there are. You can actually just glance at it very quickly and you can see the battery level of the charging case just by looking at four different LED lights. But they did not provide that here, so we're just gonna rock with what they did. And for the charging case door, I do not believe that it's held down by magnets I think that it's just spring loaded but it is pretty secure so you don't have to worry about it opening up and then as you can see right here the earbuds inside of the charging case are held in by magnets as well so these will not fall out either so I think uh, Soul did a pretty good job on making sure that these are secure they will not fall out no matter how hard you shake them if you drop them from a uh, decent height they'll probably pop open like most earbud cases but just for everyday use these will not fall out of your charging case so that's something that you do not have to worry about now going around these earbuds as you can see it is a boom stout earbud the stem is not that long which i do like they won't be sticking out of your ears looking crazy like the very first airpods and on the outside of these earbuds this is a touch surface right here i do believe that this might be your mic hole for your transparency mode and then on the inside, you do have another mic hole right here, I do believe, and that's for your call quality. So I went through the user manual and everything, and they did not tell me exactly where each mic hole is, but I do believe on the outside of each earbud, right on top of the touch surface, is where you will get your transparency mic. 
on the bottom of the stems, there's another set of holes. I do believe that's where you'll get your mic for your call quality. And I'm not sure if there's another set of mic holes on the inside of the earbuds, but either way it goes, I know for a fact that there are two different mic holes on each earbud, one for transparency mode and one's for call quality. So let's go ahead and just rock with that. And as you can see, these so earbuds, they do not stick out of my ears that much. They are actually a very low profile. If that's something that actually bothers you when it comes to earbuds. Okay, before I start talking about the sound quality on these earbuds, let me just quickly go over the button functions. And the button functions on the right earbud is where you will play and pause your music, go to the next track, go to the previous track, and answer phone calls and reject phone calls. Now on the left earbud, if you tap it to turn the volume up, tap it twice, it'll turn the volume down. And if you hold down the left earbud for three seconds, it will activate your voice assistant. Now to switch through the transparency mode, the ANC mode and the normal mode, you can hold down either earbud towards the bottom for two seconds and it'll toggle through those different modes. Now, as far as transparency mode, ANC mode and normal mode, to me, there was not a big difference between normal mode and ANC mode. It's maybe my bar might be set too high when it comes to ANC modes because of the AirPods Pro, how good that is. But you gotta think those are $100, $150 more than these. But even still, I was not impressed by the ANC mode on these. Now the transparency mode, yes, it activates and it lets in more ambient noise. It's decent, it's not that bad. You can actually notice it. Now for ANC mode, and normally I test this when I don't have any sound playing simply because that's where you can hear how quiet the ambient noise has gone down um, with no sound playing. And to me, the ANC mode just was not that great. Um, I guess you gotta take into consideration the price point of these earbuds at $100. They're not gonna perform as well as your more premium $200, $250 earbuds with ANC mode on them. And yeah, and so that's my opinion on the ANC mode on these earbuds. Now, for sound quality, right off the bat, I noticed that these are not for your bass heads. You're not gonna get that low thumping bass that you want. I mean, there is a little bit of bass on here, but for your bass heads, like I said, this probably won't be an earbud for you. You do get very good highs when it comes to these earbuds. They are crystal clear and I have no complaints on that. The mids are very nice and evenly spread out on any track that I did listen to. Okay, now for the call quality. As you're hearing my voice right now, this is how you'll come across to the other person on the other end of the phone call. I did call my dad testing out these earbuds as I normally do, and he was able to hear me just fine. He didn't have any problems when I had the ambient noise turned completely off. Now, with ambient noise on, as you can hear, I do have simulated crowd noise going on over my left shoulder. The volume is around seven. This is how the other person would hear the background noise in the environment that you're in, and I do believe it's up pretty loud. So as you're hearing this right now, you'll be able to judge how good these let in ambient noise. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Okay, so now for latency, I tested out YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV+, Plus, Disney+, Plus. you know, all the usual suspects when it comes to movie streaming services, and there wasn't any latency detected, so you shouldn't have an issue with that. And so that's all I got for you people. Um, my final thoughts on these earbuds, there are a couple of things that I wish to see improved upon and maybe another iteration of these earbuds is definitely have wireless charging included on these earbuds. There's no app, which I always love seeing an app included in any tech product that I'm using. So, so when you watch this, think about including an app for your earbuds because you do have a tremendous line of earbuds and the app will greatly enhance the sound quality and just add different features to these earbuds that are available currently right now without an app. So that is my full review on these Soul Sync and C Truly Wireless earbuds. As always, if this is your first time here, if you find any value in this video whatsoever, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notification when I drop my latest tech video. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.